What's up everybody? Matt here and today I'm taking a look at the Team Red Cat Monster Truck 10E. <laughs> it's a mouthful, but cool little 110 scale monster truck from Red Cat. This is my first Red Cat and this is a ready to run truck and I figured I'd just take a look at it with you today and show you what it's got in it and then we'll get some running video and, and see how this little guy does. So I've wanted something in this size for a little while now. Um, I've thought about the stampedes and things like that but when I saw this with what it comes with out of the box for the price point you can't beat it and uh, I got a great deal thanks to uh, some friends at the Hobby Garage here in Arizona and they've been great to work with. They actually helped me fix a problem on this right out of the box which was cool. Uh, just kind of a fluke thing so I'll show you that too but anyway hope you enjoy and let's take a look right, at this guys, guy so under the body here let's take a look at what we've got it's it's set up pretty well for an out-of-the-box truck uh, first thing I noticed was all metal gearing your spur and your pinions all metal you've also got metal CVDs in there which is awesome I mean all my Traxxas vehicles I've had to do that myself you know so that's a great out-of-the-box feature that was in here. The other thing that's super obvious was right here on top, you've got a Savox servo or Savox, however you pronounce that, but all Metal Gear waterproof servo from them that has, I think, uh, what is it? Yeah, 208 ounces of torque. So that's a killer servo in a little out of the box, ready to run truck like this. You've also got some aluminum bulkheads, front and rear. So it's set up pretty well. They also included a bumper with five LEDs across the front, a wheelie bar in the back, and then look at these shocks for a little tiny truck. I mean, those are some nice big bore style shocks, um, much better than what comes on the majority of vehicles anymore. But so first glance, it looks awesome. Uh, the power system, I believe, is made by Hobby Wing. I need to double check that, but I think that's what they told me. And it's a 4400 kV brushless motor with a 80 amp, I think. Uh, yeah, 80 amp ESC, and it's 2 or 3S capable. I've got a 2S in there now. I did a couple of quick little uh, just runs around trying to make sure this thing worked, and actually that's how I found a problem. Um, so I'll tell you about that now. It was real simple. Basically, another cool feature they've done here, you can hopefully see down in here, they've got a cool little power distribution type system going on. So your power is coming out of your ESC, of course, it's running into the receiver box, and then the receiver box has some jumpers coming out the bottom, and then they've got this track that hopefully you can see down here that runs down and is covered, runs up to the front and into the bottom of this junction box, and then you've got ports along the top of that junction box for your servo, which it makes a nice quick easy disconnect and also the lights that they ran to the front so I had this thing out of the box drove it around for two minutes and the whole truck just shut off could not figure out what was going on the ESC was blinking red like there was a voltage issue um, so we just started digging in and uh, Travis from Hobby Garage was awesome and, and Koi from the AZR's RC Club uh, and helping me figure out what was wrong because I've never had an issue like that that I couldn't figure out, but ultimately what it ended up being uh, when they unplugged the, the uh, plug going to the, the LEDs up front, everything came back. So the short was up front. I eventually finally took apart the whole front bumper and it's got these, this here, this is a plastic guard, comes out with two screws. Well, from the factory they had pinched the positive and negative cables together and it actually wore through it looked like wore through the the wire casing and caused those to touch and short out so i pulled those apart cleaned up the wiring and it's perfect now there's no problems firing it up now you can see lights come right on and we've got full power everything's ready to go so Super simple problem. It took us a while to figure it out because we had to just, you know, trial and error, unplug and plug wires, and Koi eventually figured that out. But uh, anyway, they were real helpful, got me taken care of right on the spot. Um, and uh, this thing's doing great ever since. So I'm going to get it out now and show you some running video. Hope you enjoy that. 
We'll do a little 2S and then we'll try some 3S to see how fast this little guy can be. But I'm excited. This is a nice little uh, smaller scale monster truck style uh, TRMT10E. <laughs> I'm never going to remember that name. But Team Red Cat Monster Truck. So let's give well, it a I'm shot. Out here at a new bashing spot. Nice little hills to run around on. Some small hills to jump. Might have to come rake those out one day. But that big hill will be a lot of fun back there. And then we just got a nice, good, long run right here. So be a good spot to test out the new Red Cat. He's See on what you can do. Now, and we'll swap up to three. Oh yeah, nice and quick. Not pulling any wheelies on 2S, but very quick. Oh, there's their first crash. Quick little truck. Driving it one handed, so. Got some good speed. Again, this is 2S right now. Nice bright lights. Body took that hit pretty good. When it flipped over it wasn't too hard but it feels a little flimsy so we'll see how good it holds up anyway let's run around a little bit more okay got 3s in there now see what it can do <laughs> yeah. now we got wheelies wow Sorry, this thing is fast. I can't even get it up to speed right now, controlling it like this. This might be a little much for this little guy. <laughs> Not that it ain't fun. But holy smokes. <laughs> all right so that's just a quick little preview of this little truck i'm gonna be doing a lot of cool stuff with it um i can already tell might need to lower that wheelie bar down i think i saw some people did that and made it control better because it cannot handle that wheelie right now as you saw but holy cow man this thing's going to be a lot of fun look forward to get it out uh, when i've got a little bit more time but thanks for watching talk to you soon